So we know that um, Christmas is based upon Saturnalia, the Roman pagan origins of, um, you know, just the, the, the orgy of orgies, the criminality, the topsy-turvy worlds of Christ Mass. So Christ Mass has where the poor people are having given plays to each other, right? They're going to each other's house and uh, performing plays, and they're you know, going to rich people's houses and using their stuff. They have trick or treat type of stuff where the 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 poor kids are asking the older uh, people for their things, and um, and then uh, men and women's roles are being reversed. So lots of things, you know, with uh, uh, Saturnalia, Christ Mass. And then you also got some, you know, from Odin and the reindeer and, you know, Coca-Cola, Santa and all the other bullshit. So, but Jesus, Jesus himself, I've heard people actually use the name Yeshua instead of Jesus because there was no J. J, the letter J actually wasn't um, founded until the 1500s. So they said the first uh, to explicitly distinguish I and J are represented separate sounds was Gian Gorgia Tresino in 1524. So nobody says Jesus, right? Nobody said Jesus in Jesus' time. Nobody called this supposed you know, character from the Bible Jesus, if there was even a man of this name. Probably my best get, guess it was just a guy that went around, got a little following, was killed by the Roman soldiers, and then the story was just told over and over again and until eventually he just became a, you know, um, a, 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 a character of mythical proportions. So you have, you know, the Catholic Church 325 AD where they capture all the pagan origins and they try to make the, the church universal, which is where the Catholic name actually comes from. Catholic means universal. So you get J, wasn't even around, right? So maybe maybe there's a guy named Yeshua, maybe not, who knows. Uh, basically, it's just a big telephone game, right? Hey, I heard this guy, this guy, and I've played telephone, and usually it takes, what, three or four people for the message to get messed up. So the only people that wrote about the guy was 40 uh, to 100 years afterwards, and then he's even, you know, the church is uh, edited and changed all this type of stuff over and over again. There was actually a movie um, with uh, Antonio Banderas that, that the, I forget what the title was, but the point was they found the body of Jesus. The archaeologists supposedly dug up Jesus, and then the Catholic Church tried to destroy it because if the body of Jesus was found, then therefore the resurrection never made sense. And the resurrection never actually happened. So, you know, a virgin giving birth, um, a god who didn't get consent, and then um, a magic man who can moonwalk on water and change water to wine and does all this incredible magic tricks. I mean, the whole thing just smacks of insanity and ridiculousness. And the way that people are so devout to this insanity and ridiculousness it's it's disturbing and it's quite sickening to be honest with you you know people have uh, such a reverence for something that don't even exist and yet they can't even treat their own neighbors properly they can't even treat people the way they're supposed to be treated there is no morality in fact i just saw a report by the young turks that said that the people who are most likely to support torture are the christians christians you know they the jesus got tortured over and over again died for our sins and they're the ones going to be for torture so how many more Jesus Christ did the Christian nation create at Abu Ghraib? How many Jesus Christ did the well, Christian KKK create when they lynched all those black folks? And now we're seeing lynching of black folks today. You know, there's uh, the, the death of Eric Garner right on camera, which choked to death. And he had actually separated a fight. So he was a hero. And yet nobody seems to give a damn about any of this. So... You know, Jay is, is, nobody said Jesus. Nobody called Jesus Christ, you know, Jesus. That was, that's just something we made up way later on. And, um, and all of this stuff actually is made up or, or comes from pagan origins. You know, pagans just being not of Christ, not of Christianity. So just every other people was coming, you know, across this. Now we even have the image of Jesus, right? How, how is a man who came from the Middle East have blue eyes? and white skin. You know, there's even a passage in the Bible that said his hair was made of wool. Well, that's a black person's hair. There's many uh, passages, and how do you determine what he actually looked like, right? There was even one article that I, was, uh, that I came across that was uh, uh, taking a look at um, 
whether or not he was a dwarf, because several of the writings said that he was of small stature. So Jesus Christ is actually the image of Jesus that we know of today came from Cesar Borgia. Cesar Borgia, who was known for, or at least his family, for beating the shit out of Machiavelli, breaking his legs and, and starving him to death and all this other shit. So Cesar Borgia is in the book entitled tri Thief of Poisoners. Yeah, that's also something else the Borgias were known for, por poisoning people. And so, uh, in the book entitled Cesar Borgia, His Life and Times by Sari Bradford, between 1502 and 1503, he employed Leonardo da Vinci as a military architect and engineer, in which him and Leonardo da Vinci became intimately, instantaneously their lovers, which I didn't know. Leonardo da Vinci was sitting there having sex with men, right? So, da Vinci and... Um, and uh, Cesar Borgia was having sex. And also, you know, uh, in order to express his love for Cesar, Leon Leonardo painted many pictures of him. But also, Cesar Borgia was known to be a ruthless, bloody dictator. He was a bad piece of shit. And since we have all these great portraits of him and shit, and all these people he was able to compel to fight for him, he's going to go down in the history books, whereas all those who had died underneath him don't even get to uh, be heard. Cesar's father, Ro Rodrigo Borgia, later became Pope Alexander VI under the authority of the Catholic Church elite, had his son picture put up as Jesus Christ in the Western world. Cesar had sex with his own sister, Lucrezia, and he killed his own brother, Giovanni, in 1497. And this is the man who the Catholic Church gave their consent to allow his picture to be put up and portrayed as Jesus Christ to deceive the whole world to think Christ was European. So they didn't want to kill all the Jews and Muslims because they said that's what Jesus actually looked like. So they changed it. They changed it. It was uh, Leonardo da Vinci who eventually changed it. And it says that um, says our father Rodrigo Borgia became Pope Alexander the Sixth. So Pope Alexander the Sixth was a Borgia too, and they had made his son's picture uh, put up as Jesus Christ to the Western world. So when we ask, when you see the portrait of Jesus, when you see Jesus on a cross. It came from Cesar Borgia, and um, Pope Alexander VI wasn't a nice guy either. He was a, a bloody dictator, menacing and expanding his power and land holdings. And Machiavelli basically was sitting there saying, if you're able to you know, uh, uh, survive and keep your state, then the antiquity will, or uh, posterity will love antiquity. The, uh, they'll love what you did. If you lose your state, then you know you're you're going to be a bad you know you're not going to be um, assessed very well. So Leonardo da Vinci won the competition. They eventually you know the competition between da Vinci and Mach, or, or Michelangelo. They um, the, eventually Cesar Borgia becomes Jesus's face. And when you see the side by side comparison, you can see Cesar Borgia's face and Jesus Christ's face. You know they look identical. Someone said something about um, a gay stash or some sort of a uh, creeper stash. That's what I heard someone call that. Oh, that's a creeper stash. That's a Jesus stash, okay? And um, you know, or a Cesar Borgia, you know, stash. That's uh, that's basically where it came from. So all this talk of Jesus and you know, um, Saturnalia, white Jesus modeled on Cesar Borgia, right? Question mark. The theory is. But again, they go with Pope Alexander VI ordered destruction of all art depicting a Semitic Jesus and commissioned a number of paintings depicting a Caucasian Jesus. His son, Cardinal Cesar Borgia, so actually Cesar becomes a cardinal, but I think he rebels and then gets his own state. But um, he is the nastiest of all the Borgias, became the iconic Caucasian Jesus so loved today uh, by Christians. So I learned Caucasians were really the tribe of Edom, the white image of Christ is really Cesar Borgia so the true image of Christ they say is actually it looks like this and looks like this so we'll check that out in a second here Cesar Borgia again here's his uh, his deal Nick Niccolo Machiavelli's version of the prince basically he's the prince that uh, Machiavelli is talking about uh, Spanish Italian Cardinal, uh, the acknowledged but illegitimate son of Pope Alexander the sixth Borgia was a sibling of Lucrezia, Jeffrey, and Giovanni Borgia. And I think he kills Giovanni and has sex with Lucrezia. So, weird dude, right? Fucked up, bloody, incestual, psycho, you know, murdering his own family and shit. And he's uh, the Jesus Christ that people worship today. 
You know, so when you go to church, you're worshiping an ancestral freak. And when you celebrate Christmas, you're celebrating a, a celebration of pedophilia and um, debauchery. Here's a here's a question that says like, was he a dwarf? So this this is like, was he a dwarf? So there's lots of writings about him being of small stature. So he's like a short man. And um, this isn't the picture that I was actually wanting to look for. I guess that's what he says. He had a mono brow. Um, but the the picture that actually I saw was sort of a brown skin Middle Eastern average you know, Middle Eastern man. They're very they're shorter than uh, today's man, so they're saying you know Jesus is short. But today he's ripped, he's strong, he's muscled, he's got blue eyes, white long hippie hair, you know, with the the creeper stash. And, uh, you know, the character of Jesus is actually a phenomenal dude. He's really you know he's uh, talking about the oppressed. And how they'll eventually win the kingdom of heaven because they, you know, are good people. They stay poor, they stay miserable, and that's how. That that's not the good part. That's a little Nietzsche there. But the uh, the the good part is how he cared about the poor. He hung out with the poor, the weak, the distressed. You know, the muck of society. So he was really the Jerry Springer of the Middle East. You know, he hung out with the muck. He hung out with the trash, the refuse, the outcast. Um, you know the sinners and the and the prostitutes and the the lepers and the tax collector and and you know there's just people basically the people who are vilified in society was Jesus's friend and so of course anybody who ever feel felt you know sort of alienated or feels impoverished or poor can you know they can dupe the masses by grabbing a hold of this guy. Uh, so when the Pope Francis goes around saying the things that he's saying, he's he's saying things very accurately. He's sitting there saying, you know, that the, the, we need more to care and do the works of Jesus instead of like imposing our will. He even says atheists will go to heaven to question authority. Um, that it's all right to be homosexual. You can still be good people. You know the. Uh, um, it's just incredible, actually. The Pope is just kicking ass. He even talked about how the Vatican needs to clean up its act, how there's still 2% of the priests are pedophiles, and they're still in the church, and how even cardinals are pedophiles, how people get punished, but they ain't say why they're punished. So, you know, just a weird bunch of weird shit. I grew up Catholic, and actually the um, the, the Catholic priest, he was just a fucking asshole, you know, he closes the church, doesn't allow any homeless people, uh, to, to, you know, go there, the church is only open on Sundays when he collects his wealth, he's got a big ass farm, and, um, you know, needing a spot to stay, you know, he eventually let me stay there for maybe a week or two, but during the time, he says, oh, you know, we don't really talk about sexuality that much, we, uh, he also said, I need to suffer, you, you need to learn about suffering, right? So, you know, just like Mother Teresa, you know, it, it, she didn't give a shit about those who were poor. She wanted to uh, manifest in their suffering. So that way she could go to heaven. And she even had, you know, questions whether or not any of the shit was actually fucking real. And, um, and so the thing he had said while I was staying there, he said that whenever, um, whenever you have, uh, 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 I, he says it was okay to walk around in the nude, right? Oh, yeah, we walk around in the nude. He's got a young man there, too. And, uh, you know, the boss of son is always the biggest dick. So the uh, the guy who was there is such a dickhead. He's such a fucking asshole. And, um, and if they were running around just streaking around each other, you know, I could almost say that uh, Father Witzman... Uh, or fucking George, Gerald Witzman, fucking father. You have to sit there and say father. That's what the the English colonists would do to the Native Americans. Father George the Third, right? Instead of just say King George, he was the father. And so they would take this fucking title about of of hierarchical, um, you know, uh, implications. So they'll sit there and say that they're the father. Therefore, you gotta look up to them and admire them. They're so much smarter. Um, and so, you know, like, it makes a ton of sense, actually, about how the pedophilia is happening, how there's domestic violence, how there's no nuns are allowed to speak in the church. It's all hierarchy. So the men over the women over the kids, and the kids just get fucked. Literally, they get fucked because they're on the bottom of the hierarchy, and nobody gives a shit about them. The Catholic Church has, they're schizophrenic, right? You'll get some Doors Days. Um, MLK was Christian. You'll get some, um... Oscar Romero's, and you'll get some really badass, you know, people who actually take the teachings of Jesus seriously, and you start to uh, employ, 
you know, the character of Jesus, but you don't actually see the people who get to be, you know, you don't see those people enough. Because most of the time it's just about hierarchy and it's about authority. I'm the fucking boss. Everybody bow down to me. And, uh, and it's really fucking sick, to be honest with you. So Cesar Borgia, they said that if you think of the title Pope, well, somebody's calling. So I will see who's calling me. But not white and Jesus the J never existed for a long time. So, yeah, y'all need to stop with your fucking fairy tales. Uh, Jesus Christ is just a Santa Claus for adults.